Hello Sunshines and welcome to Short Game Saturdays. Today, Bon and I are playing Permisa by Julian Palacios. If you would like to follow Bon, check out the link to their channel below. From memories of homes and streets to surreal visions of imaginary places, this short game is a contemplative experience about what happens when we're left dreaming of the things we didn't experience firsthand. Warning, this video contains strong language. Discretion is advised. Now, without further ado, let's get started. I am now in a dark room. I am now okay. appropriate. I am game appropriate, except I awesome. cannot, I cannot see <laughs> my fucking keyboard to line up my fingers. Oops. All right. Well, it'll light I should, up. You should get uh one of the one of these light up keyboards that i have well, it's I, like i have that i have that actually yeah. it's just dark and i don't want to press a key and mess something up yeah okay there is no uh, voice acting excuse me uh excuse me vos no podes hacer nada y, uh, y no tenes... <laughs> there's a translation below i know okay just checking <laughs> Listen, you can neither do anything nor have to. You are living on the far side of the world. It is what it is. What can we do? And it's nobody's fault. Really? You see? Okay. I spent Wait. too much time being a piece of shit. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's not your fault. Or is it? Um. Okay, so I'm using WASD. Oh, I'm slow. I am so slow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've never it been sounds... so slow in my life. It sounds like there's a long ass fart in my ear. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's why it wanted you to be uh, completely in the dark so you didn't know who was farting. Mm, maybe. The um, ghost farter. Why are we so slow? Okay, hold on. What the fuck is this default speed? Default is slow as shit. <laughs> plus 40. This is plus what? 40? Oh my god. Uh, this is bad. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna be driven insane. Oh my god, this is about as fast as that one game that I played as a demo, and I was just like, I fucking hate this. It is going so slow. I have to do everything at the speed of nonsense. No wonder this game takes 45 minutes. They want to make sure that you see everything and you don't go rushing by. A parent fuck at me. Okay, this bag, uh, I'm about ready to have a paper clip stuck in it, because fuck it. Well, Truth, uh, is... Truth is, we went back and forth for 20 years with everything the family. <sighs> Until both of us grew too old. I wanted to go back again, but it was no longer an option. It, like a chasm, something that attracts me, you know? Of course, I've always wanted to go back. I would always go back. Oh my god, paperclip, get out of this fucking bag! Oh, I'm too close to the pixelation of uh, the texture. I better not look that so that close. Yeah. Dang. All this right. is very pretty though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, a very loud strumming in my ear, just so you know. Storming or strumming? Strumming. Like guitar strumming. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay. And I'm walking on air! <laughs> it looks like things are on fire? Maybe exploding? Maybe, maybe. both? It's like maybe the clock tower... Oh no, nothing's on fire, it's just light. Bright, bright lights. Really, really? A bell tower. 
I think I'm able to interact with things. I can't remember. Um. No, it doesn't allow me to look at my controls anymore. Okay. Interesting. I would assume, I would hope it would give you a prompt. Oh, I'm sinking! Oh, no! I got too close to the light and, like, Icarus fell. <laughs> now we're slowly falling. <laughs> we're, we're falling at the speed of our walking to our walking speed. <laughs> I'm sure there's a reason for this. I am absolutely sure that the creator had the greatest of intention. For making shit so fucking slow! Like, there's dramatic music, and it clearly wants you to take something in, and like... Oh god. No. Nope. You know, it wants me... Uh, okay, so this is completely related and unrelated. It's just the, the tiles and the way that this courtyard is. Mm -hmm. uh, in Disney Dreamlight Valley, you have a, a mini casita from Encanto. Yeah. And uh, I was taught on my stream yesterday, I was playing uh, Dr Disney Dreamlight Valley. And I was like, man, I should build a casita in fucking Sims. And this just reminded me that I still want to do that. Well, that's good. Oh, yeah. I can walk straight now. <laughs> I can walk in the you are, direction. You are huge. You're like a giant. Long, long man. That's the wall. Okay. Beautiful. I mean, I was just sitting there and I'm like, it made me go through things before, so why yeah. not try? It's like, you're really tall. Can you imagine if that was one of the, the gifts that Casita gave to the Magical family? It's just like, one of you is going to be a fucking giant. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed Wait, to go what's out in that, that window? window. Yeah. No. I'll just very slowly make my way over. Very, very slowly. To all the things where the assets used to be. Oh, no, and now no. they're just ghosts of assets. Look at that delicious meal. Um, yum, yum. Yeah. Um, oh my god, yeah. yesterday in Dreamlight Valley, Olaf gave me ten chairs. You know what's been stuck in my head? Speaking of Olaf. Is uh, watching watching Barry explain fucking uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. And just <laughs> him being like, and you make Olaf swole. And I'm like, it's just stuck in my head now. <laughs> I just keep hearing him say that again and again. I love these little verbal stibs that happen. It's just fantastic. So yeah, yeah you said Olaf and he gave you yeah. lots of chairs and I'm like, oh, he swole. Yeah, he wanted a hundred sticks. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Here's a hundred sticks. And, he, and then like three months later, he's like, hey, you remember those hundred sticks? And I'm like, no. Uh, and he's like, here, I made you ten chairs. And he just gives me ten chairs. I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this, Olaf? Um, grow ten asses to sit down? I guess so. <laughs> Thank you for giving me TikTok content, I guess. I mean, at some point I have to 
You see, I've reached an age where I'm trying to make all that I know not slip away. I used to remember a great deal of things, and now I have to fight every day. I can't learn new things anymore, you know? For me, it's already a lot to keep doing the things I know. Well, I don't like that there's a train in my ears. Uh-oh. Inmigrantes? Hotel de Inmigrantes? Was it doing it? anything? Immigrant hotel? Yeah. Well, Probably it says no. in, in, I N, Migrantes. No. I don't, but I don't know if that's, maybe it's the same thing? I don't know. Because okay. I, I don't know Spanish. I, I know hotel. Oh, oh, Wait. I re this, okay, I can move. Okay. I thought this was like a title screen, but no. Yeah. It's like, oh, did we win? So, yeah, it says Inmigrantes. I don't know what that means. If that means immigrants or something else. Okay, this was really cool, by the way, because it really makes yeah. me think of one of my, uh, favorite anime uh, like visual effects tri uh, tricks that you do oh the water looks like silver scales and I love it yeah that's really cool um but yeah it just reminded me of one of my favorite visual effects tricks that mm. they do in post mm. oh. oh I'm actually <laughs> physically on the ground again wow oh and I'm not a giant anymore. <laughs> and I'm actually moving somewhat, I guess, speedy in comparison to before. Yeah. In comparison. In comparison. Yeah, boy. Oh. You know, we never really finished talking about how your current interview went. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the one that I had today um, actually did really, it went really well. Um, she is trying to build a romance team, uh, like a team of editors, proofreaders, developmental editors, um, like ghost writers, that kind of thing, just like a bunch of people. Because her goal is to put out a book a month. Oh, um, dang. But right now she's so far barely getting like. Um, that's actually a pretty cool visual effect. Um, mm -hmm. uh, she's only getting like she's trying like right now her current goal is. If she can get out uh, a book every two months, she's happy, but she wants to make it a book a month. Um, um, publishing, and... publishing via Amazon, I'm guessing, ebook? Yeah, yeah, because she's, she's doing indie ebook stuff. Yeah. And I know a decent amount about that, and they do say that in order to stay, like, in, like, on people's radar you do need yeah. to put out a lot of books because yeah. uh that is one of the things that danae did briefly was uh write ebooks on amazon kindle and i think they churned out like four in six months i'm not sure oh wow anyways yeah so it was just quick and dirty um, but they were doing erotica, so there was quick and yeah. dirty erotica. So, right, yeah. Um, which is still hard extra, to do. Yeah, extra dirty. No, not yeah. in this case. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, simply because Amazon is Amazon. Oh. Yeah, true. Oh, 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 oh. Is oh, it just me or does that look like a hand? Um, like, no. 
you can see. I guess see. it's just you. Like, is it the weed? It might be the weed, because I'm just seeing clouds. I'm seeing shapes in those clouds. And the clouds uh, are like hands. Okay, that, yeah, okay. I, I can see the thumb and the finger now. There and like, the go. sun is, the sun is like the palm of the hand, yeah. Yeah, there we go. See, I'm not just high. <laughs> I mean, you are high, but... Uh, I don't know if I like the collection of assets we've got going here. Um, just because, like, we've gone through two different styles of buildings now. <laughs> like, uh, artistic styles, not, uh... You're like, where's the cohesion? Yep. Oh, look! The, the lost assets are back. Hello! Hello. 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 Just walking through the bed, you know? Yeah. But it's not uh, something that... Oh. That, that's what I dream about. In the neighborhood where were no differences. The neighbor's grass was as green as yours. Not like today. Life was divine. That's right. That's how life was. And I miss many things. You can't even imagine how often how it was. I still remember every time I went back to the neighborhood, I always went to a sample of the scent of our house. It just sounds really odd. Yeah, just like why don't you just bottle it? No, it actually <laughs> makes me think like that's that sounds like a thing like Hannibal Lecter would do. Yeah. <laughs> he would just go back and taste the air. <laughs> I just did the Hannibal Lecter noise and my <laughs> brain, my body re revolted against it. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> okay. But yeah, doing the Amazon e like Kindle book thing is is mm -hmm. hardcore. And it sounds like she's going about it in a really smart way if she's gathering a team of people to help. I am yeah. in Obsidian. Well, no. I mean, this wouldn't technically be a obsidian, but it does look like the Minecraft. Yeah, asset. the 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 fucking the the backgrounds have just like lost quality all of a sudden, you know. Well, maybe or it's, the set of maybe it's to show stuff degrading. That's uh, you know what I think that might be. But no, it's it's back to better quality now. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay, that was a transition. Mm. Oh, I do not want no. I don't like. I okay. don't. Do you, I do you just not... want to run forward with your eyes closed and I'll tell you when it's safe? Uh, as long as I don't have to cross the tracks. Right. I'm just gonna stay to the side. Yeah. Look. Ghost things. Yeah. Well, oh, sorry about that, Vaughn. I didn't know that was gonna happen. I mean, you couldn't have. Yeah. Well, I knew the train was gonna show up at some point when I heard it earlier. Yeah. Did we uh, win? Is, is that it? <laughs> did we win? <laughs> or did I do something the game didn't want? Or am I just having to wait? out this full, like, train-going sound file. Oh, God. You can't move or anything? I am moving. I am just oh. holding down. Oh, hey. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, Don. That's no, okay.
You see, this morning she was completely lost, out of this world. She was staring at the void. That's what I fear, because I know that one day that emptiness will arrive and she will be far from everything. Things get a tad more complicated every day. It's hard. Very hard. Anyway, let me tell you. Truth is that we were lucky, and here we are, the two of us. It was never an easy life for us, you know. Mm, well, the good news is I managed to cross the tracks at such an angle that I never saw the train, so... Good. Excellent. Yeah. For context of watchers who are not aware, I got a thing about trains. Mm -hmm. Specifically, impact. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am in a new place. Are we giants again? Or ghosts hovering. Oh, uh, we're ghosts. Ghosts watching ghosts. our past. Interesting building. Mm -hmm. I hear a car. I hear a little mm -hmm. scraping sounds. There's a Thanks. scraping sound. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was a startling <laughs> transition. I, I went from moving real slow to real quick all of a sudden. Yeah, and the lights went on. Yeah. Just... I was genuinely startled. Yeah, it's like, I wasn't expecting this to have jump scares. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck that we're doing. <laughs> oh my god, this kitchen looks like all of, like, the Russian kitchens of, like, ghost videos on TikTok. Y you know I'm not on TikTok, so I... Oh my god, yeah. look at the little, little model of the fucking sponge. Yeah. Well, no, uh, there's a lot of, like, haunted ghost videos that come out of Russia, specifically, uh, yeah. because Russia are content farms. Um, and, or there's, co there's a ton of content farms in Russia. But they all have the same fucking kitchen. It's hilarious. It's that kitchen. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Okay, I okay. I was joking. I thought it was not it was gonna be like no you have to go here first. <laughs> but no, uh it was gonna let me into the room without going in here, so I actually don't mind these kind of showers. Yeah, they're not too bad. Yeah. We were in this room before. Yeah. Anything different? I, there's a gap now, I guess? I don't remember. I don't think that was there before. No. I hear a clock. Change in pictures? Nope. Nope, just pixelated stock photos. Okay, I can look out at the sky. Very pretty. Hello, moon. Good night, moon. We just start reading the book. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, well. it should be in May by now. I actually don't know when that book was written, so I I can't say. Like, oh, the nineteen thirties, I think. Good night, moon was written in like the nineteen thirties. Yeah, it was, it's an old fucking book. Uh Oh, sorry. 1947. Okay, that's still way earlier than I thought. No. So I guess we're back here and we're done exploring this patio memory. Yeah. Oh yeah. god. Uh everybody got abducted by aliens? Uh Death Mountain Cloud? Ooh, Death Mountain Cloud. I could never live that close to a volcano. No, I could not either. Oh, how people change. You know that I keep forgetting the names of streets. When I'm wanting to remember all the bad that happened, I forgot a lot of things. 
Look, the only thing I will always regret is not having learned Russian. One should be born again. What can we do? There are things that I did not learn that I will never get to learn. All right. Huh. Um. Do I go up very slowly and then potentially reach an end where I'm not supposed to be, or do I go down very slowly and potentially reach an end I'm not supposed to be? I'm assuming I would, we go I would down. Just, yeah, I, I would just say save us some time <laughs> and go down. <laughs> Mm. But yeah, uh, the Min Good Night Moon actually has a really interesting story um, uh, because it was like there's a there there is a per there was a librarian at the time who refused to carry Good Night Moon because. Uh, it was like for it was children's literature and at the time libraries weren't seen as places for children mm. and um the writer margaret weiss brown actually fought to have uh places for children in libraries oh yeah if i'm remembering that correctly That's but yeah cool. that it, it was just one of those things where it's just like, there should be places for children. Uh, children should be welcome because this is a place of learning and a place of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, that makes sense that they would, people would had originally viewed it as like, not places for children, considering the right. types of places in the past, the lots of large quantities of books had been held, which is, yeah. you know, private um like private collections or monasteries churches right like, but not so much so like spaces that adults really occupy right. well, I, I did it i feel like this is some sort of camp Yep. Sure does feel that way. An island with just a dark wall, like a, a solid concrete wall around and a bunch of buildings? Yeah. That couldn't possibly. Uh. Couldn't mm. possibly. In a watchtower. Oh. <laughs> Great. Why am I bothering? I don't know. That's so Mark, slow. It's it too slow for this. Yeah. Well, oh, good. More tracks. Oh, I wonder if oh. this is one of those boat yards where they build the boats and then, like, push it out onto the water. Oh, you know I've, what? Oh, yeah, shipyard. That's the word. Yeah, maybe. Because my brain went totally different place. Really? I mean, that looks like boats. Uh, my brain went, oh, it's the train that brings in the people to for the concentration oh. camp. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> but very I guess. Place. Yeah, very, very different place. <laughs> Are we sure? <laughs> I'm getting sucked back, by the way. I'm like, I'm oh. not holding any controller. Oh, sorry, the controller? Oh, sorry, the keyboard. Yeah. Nope. Bye. -bye. Oh. Okay. Watch this, that's the only point where it's like, you died. And how do you think I'm feeling? I'm in a deep hole. Laying here, restless, 
worried. And for that reason, I start screwing around on the computer because I'm sunk and play rounds of solitaire trying to catch a break. But I stay there too long. So I just end up more nervous than I was. Hmm. It looks like claymation. It does, actually. I think it was Stephanie who really hated claymation. Or was it... Who was... I feel like somebody recently was... One of us said the word claymation and they were like, Nope, I'm out. I feel like that happened too, but I also can't remember specifically who. Yeah. Personally, I love claymation. I do too. I also love rotoscoping, which Stephanie also did not like. Yeah. yeah. I think it's too uncanny valley for some people. Yeah, that's fair. Honestly. I just love realistic looking animations. And if you have to trace real bodies, I don't see the harm. <laughs> Honestly, like, it's just not a bad tool. It's just that it got heavily abused. Well, it's one of those um, time saving measures. Hmm. Well, time and money saving measures. But nobody did it like Don Blues did. No. I, I think there was. At, oh, I think at one chain. point there was. Uh, he was running a Kickstarter to do a movie of Dragon Quest. Or the <sighs> the, the, the games, yeah. Yeah, Dragon Quest movie. I don't know if that would go over that well. That's precisely why it was being crowdfunded. Yeah. I mean, there was one in 2009. Wait, is is the game called Dragon Quest, though? Maybe I got the wrong name. Um, Dawn Bluth Dragon... Maybe just like Dawn Dragon Bluth... Slayer. Yeah. Dragon Slayer the movie, directed by... Don Bluth, which would be... Oh, and Gary Goldman? Interesting. Starring Ryan Reynolds. Really? What? Really? So he, he actually got through with it? Well, no. Um, it has its own page, but it doesn't have any production okay. information. Okay. Probably because... Uh, there's a strike going on right now. Oh, that's fine, yeah. Yeah. Her? Oh, sorry. Way back before going to sleep, I used to read. Wanting to learn something new every day. Anything, you know? But now, I just can't. I don't have the energy anymore. Look. Now just reading a single page drains me, because I forget right away. That book I lent you? At this point, I've been on the same page for months. Things don't stick with me. They escape me. Sounds like some form of Alzheimer's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was just severely distracted by Dirk the Daring being played as fucking... <laughs> By Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> but it's kind of perfect, isn't it? It is? But he's so skinny. <laughs> no, no, well, it's not live action. Yeah. It's not live action. What are you freaking. Well, as, I guess as the voice, it would be fine. But... Yeah. Yeah, it just. The, the whole concept of Dragon Slayer feels like. It's so. It's. 280s like they would have to do a lot of retconning 
no. to make it. I don't agree. I think it's going to have that nostalgia feel. Well, it's meant, like for it to make it more because like it, with the nostalgia thing, um, are you just going to fall off the edge of the world? Yeah, there was also like um, sp super sped up words being played. Oh, like well, I was talking over them. <laughs> well, you, you well, no, like you could, you legitimately could not understand what it was saying. It was that oh. sped up. Oh dang! Yeah, no. Um, what was I? I don't. The nostalgia can only get you so far. Like, you really have to put effort into stuff to make it. Like, because at some point in time, your target demographic is not going to be enough. Uh, someone has a problem. Well, I don't... These look... Like... Oh, it's a village. Yeah. Like, little blocks things. Oh, hi. Hello. It, it became ultra discordant. Yay. Is there something on the couch? No, that's oh, no, just the texture. Pop. Okay. Well, no, we're in a cave now. Okay. Yeah. Don't you love your underground living room? Oh, it's so cool in the summer and warm in the winter. It's very wet right now. It is very wet right now. You're very wet right now. Um, what are the fuck? Why are there dandelion fairies? But there's also what sounds like Free Willy singing in the background. Oh. Oh. oh, you know what it is? It's a float. Oh. Tree. Tree. Oh, spooky tree. I got both of you. Spooky tree. I am apparently not taking this game with as much seriousness serious as I should should be. I mean, how much seriousness are we supposed to take? Because after the basket bell game, I'm kind of done. <laughs> I mean, I think I would have taken it more seriously if I could move faster. I mean, honestly, yeah. Or if, like, because this is one of those. Uh, Like, we played two experimental games in a row. Because I'm pretty sure this is an experimental game. And Bax Basketball actually admitted to being an experimental game. But this is just one of those, I have all of these assets, let's put them together in a cohesive story. Or just put them together in a way that I feel makes sense to me. But is not going to make sense to literally anybody else. Can you go up the rock? That's what I'm trying to do now. Nope. Oh. Hey, a computer. To the other side. <laughs> we just broke the game. <laughs> At least we didn't break it as bad as basketball. Or you couldn't even continue? Yeah. Bye, spooky tree. It's just waving. <laughs> nope, that's as far back as I can go. So, can we get into the rock from the other side? How about we look at the pictures instead? Yeah. Yes. Oh, there's there a door! There. There was a door the whole time.
I don't know if I would want a family portrait that huge next to my desk. They say goodnight. Goodnight. Is that the end of this game? <laughs> Are you done? I mean, I, I think I'm just mad about basketball. <laughs> I haven't gotten over it. <laughs> I'm also you're, out of bags because I finished all my bags. You're not allowed to ever play getting over it. What's getting over it? The fucking mountain game. You're a guy stuck in a pot. Oh my god. That sounds horrendous. Look at it. Look it up. Watch as I have the name like completely wrong or something. Um, mountain guy in pot game getting over it with Bennett Fody yeah it sounds like I got the name right the player controlled character ascends a mountain using only a hammer go ahead and watch a clip I think you'd kill yourself playing it. Uh, I would kill something. <laughs> you would have There's a this... Yeah. I, I would murder... How many people would die? Like, it is the most anti-Terran game in the world. It really, really is. Okay, I, I gotta stop watching this. I, I'm, uh, murder. Murder, murder, murder. Everybody murder. Murder, murder, murder. Murder, murder, murder. I had a sudden fear that I wasn't recording. Oh. <laughs> oh no. So I, I like quickly <laughs> exited the window to check. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, at that point, we would have called it a day, and then yeah, we would have yeah. just uh, come back with a different game. Come back fresh in the morn, or kind of, kind of thing. No, yeah. not literally, but yeah, because you got uh, the not this market. weekend. I got Pride Market tomorrow. Saturday, I'm taking the kid to Lincoln City for their birthday. Um, their what? Their birthday. Oh, I heard butterfly, and I'm like, what? No, their um, birthday was this week. Oh, happy birthday, so, kid. Mom and kid and I are going to Lincoln City to go to the nerd store. Nerd store, nerd store, nerd store, nerd store. Get some water. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, it's empty now. Are we going until this person dies of old age? Probably. When you move out, do you take the light? Oh, okay, the light bulb is there. It just kind of blended in. I was like, did they take the light bulb? I mean, how petty would you be to take the light bulb? They left the chair, though. Yeah, maybe it was a craft chair. I left my washer and dryer. Oh, yeah. Mm. I left a hot plate once. Mm. But I actually asked... Them, no. I actually mm. told them, I'm like, do you want this? And they're like, yeah, sure.
Oh, and music has started up. Mm. Soft strumming. A little bittersweet. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> we did it. We won. Um, I probably would have enjoyed it more if I, you know, moved faster. Right. I like having control of the pace I go. So right. when I get forced to go to a certain pace, it just automatically irritates me. Because I am someone that naturally looks around like... When I play The Last of Us, I, like, just wander around looking at walls and shit, so... Yeah. But I don't like it being enforced. Is that a pathological demand avoidance? Demand avoidance? I've never heard that. Uh, so, pathological demand avoidance uh, is something that's common in autistic people, where it's, like, uh -huh. if you're told to do something... You have, like, this thing in you that just, like, makes you not want to do it or and not do it. Um, for me, that shows up as, oh, now through the scene selection option. Okay, that's not important. Um, it shows up when I'm about to do something and somebody tells me, hey, go do that thing that you're about to do. <clears throat> and then I immediately, like, no. <laughs> well you know i was thinking about this today because i have that interview with the journalist on tuesday right. we're continuing so um and it was actually at that point that uh this point like he asked me okay uh do you want to like be named in the article would you be okay with that being like official on the record and i'm like yeah i have no problem um i'm happy to be quoted and have my name put in it um i just don't like photos being taken of me and he goes okay thanks for being upfront about that what <laughs> if uh what if i like sometimes when people don't want to be recognized uh they we will take a picture of them from the back like in front of like the thing we're discussing so in this case it would just be an apartment building um and i'm like uh yeah so uh even if you take a picture of me from the back, you're going to recognize me because of the kind <laughs> of jackets and vests I wear are very recognizable. Um, yeah. I'm like, I don't have a problem being recognized. I just don't want to be perceived. And yeah. He this, like, he gave, like, a little confused chuckle. Like, I could, could hear the kind of confusion in his, his voice as he laughed. And he's like, oh, okay. And I'm like, well, I know. I know it doesn't make sense. I know. But there is something primal in me maybe left over from my ancestors about yeah. camera stealing souls that just yeah. compels me to hate pictures being taken of me um but i was thinking about what i was gonna say in that in that um second interview with him because uh like one of the, what we're discussing is the housing situation and in particular some of the loopholes in the tenancy uh laws mm -hmm. that i've in particular I I experienced and mm -hmm. and today i got into the fact that like not only do you have this loophole that makes your housing situation incredibly precarious precarious because mm -hmm. um you um it, it if you have a roommate and you both sign the lease then when the lease is like up and you decide to one of you decides to move out the other one is treated as if they never lived there before and it's a brand new like tenancy so none of their protections that were on the lease regarding like 
rent raises and stuff like that applies to them. So essentially, like, landlord gets blank check to up the rent as much as they feel like if, you know, and if they're feeling nice, they might not, you know, but uh, yeah, by law, they have every right to. Mm -hmm. Um, And I was talking about how society is built for a dual income households increasingly so essentially you need two incomes that come in to be able to afford to live like live um and afford things and especially even more so when you have kids um so people who are single income households like i am or even Mm -hmm. some even like other people who for example they have a spouse that is a stay-at-home parent so they don't have income coming in or someone who is on disability so they get the very minimal amounts that the government gives in in aid for that and of course there's issues around disability law because um if your income goes even an inch higher than what's allowed you yeah don't, you, you you don't get your government help but without the government help then both you and whoever you're living with is fucked so um yeah um So I was talking about that, and I was talking, I was thinking about collectives, because you've seen me post screenshots from collectives from the the Homes for Queers group before, Um, and they're increasingly becoming a thing because more and more single-income households uh, have to rely on having roommates in order to afford Mm -hmm living so what ends up happening is you're at the mercy of this loophole where if your roommate leaves or if you leave both of you are basically um like open open game for raising the rent however much is wanted um and even if you wanted to you know say no actually i'd like to stay like that's only if the landlord agrees it can't be unilateral even if you Mm -hmm. do it incorrectly it turns out for some reason it still binds um so i was thinking about the fact that like yeah i look at these collectives and like yeah okay sometimes they seem like a bit much when you read them um like it's they're what's the word what i i could use that's not mean but accurate (laughs) (laughs) um they're a bit intense yeah it's not a bad thing they 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 all go like the ones i've seen they go all hardcore um about like the kind of people they are and generally most of the collectives i've seen are people who are all like nomadic artists type artist types um which is not bad that's great actually Mm -hmm. the problem is it's like when i read these posts and they talk about having like uh like a weekly meal together not like every day but just one weekly mm-hmm. meal um and everyone takes a turn cooking it or you know having a game night so that everyone is like you know sometimes touch and base that kind of thing mm-hmm. um those aren't bad things but my first instinctual thought was i'm a friendly person but I don't want to be forced into a situation mm-hmm. where I have to be friendly and I have to right. bond with people in order to live. So instinctively, I shy away from those collectives just because of the requirement, the suggested requirement of being friendly and bonding with people when yeah. I don't know if these are people I really want to bond with or not. <laughs> right. <laughs> 
So, but, you know, you don't have much choice. Anyways, so, like, what you were talking about, pathological, like, what was it? Demand avoidance. Demand avoidance. That's my first thought. I was thinking about me looking at collectives and being like, well, maybe I don't want to bond with you guys. Maybe I just want to be in my room, just existing by myself. Yeah. That was my first thought. (laughs) <laughs> yep uh pathological demand avoidance uh also known as pda <laughs> the only pda that you will ever find like you will find ever you doing find, find me doing is the pathological demand avoidance because like oh. nothing squeaks me out more than pda like the other kind the, the other kind yeah you are very arrow ace. I am so fucking arrow ace. And I am the slut ace. You are the slut ace. <laughs> As determined by their group. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um in more serious news, this yep. this ending. Yeah, okay, we could go visit scenes we haven't seen before. Each walkthrough is different. There were I am scenes so, that we didn't see before. I am so sorry, creators. I cannot do it. I can't I, no. it's a, you know, it's beautiful. The sound design is beautiful. Um, I kind of get the story you're trying to tell. Um, but I'm also not 100% sure because to be honest I lost focus so quickly because I uh, could not control the speed <laughs> so yeah. my brain so my brain was like you know what fuck paying attention so I I retain information um by reading out loud <clears throat> mm-hmm. and I cannot tell you anything that happened <laughs> Other than that, that little bit uh, that I uh, that I read in Spanish. <laughs> oh. So yeah, sorry, team, you did great. It's wonderful. I'm just it's beautiful, not the right, fantastic. Just not the right audience. No, I love a good story. I love a good, like, heart wrenching, bittersweet story. But I, I cannot handle this speed. Even at they knew too. They knew they they added a function where you could choose your walk speed, and they had up to plus forty from the default. Yep. We were moving at plus forty. Yep, that's how fast we were moving at plus forty. Nope, can't do it. Not so today they were fully aware. Um, they're fully aware of what they were doing, and they still failed. I don't even. Well, know. in our eyes, they failed. Yeah, they failed us. To us in particular. Yeah, it, they it, they it, made the game for us, us two only, because they knew we were gonna buy the Ukraine bundle. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> um. <laughs> Actually, did I think you bought the Ukraine bundle before we started playing Sword Game Saturdays together? Um, not a hundred percent sure. I don't remember. Yeah, I I hundred percent. I don't a hundred percent sure remember when short game Saturdays with me became official. So, well, I think so. It was never really like it didn't start out as being official. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It just it just happened like it it became this thing. It's like I don't want to play this game by myself. It's dumb, mm-hmm. and it just became more fun to play to have short game Saturdays with somebody else. So, and you just accepted it without, I guess, me really asking you to. 
You're just like, this is I, what you're doing now. Yeah, I don't remember actively telling you that I wanted to play short game Saturdays with you. And like, hey, play this game with me. And because we were doing a bunch of horror games, I think around October. Last year. Yeah. And it was just going to be like a like a little short thing where it was just you, me, and sometimes Jamie. Yeah. And and because we were playing, we also did Discover Your Body. Yeah. And, and yeah. I did that specifically because it would horrify Jamie. Yeah. And it it was just supposed to be that time frame. And it just went on from there. And ever since then, we've been doing short game Saturdays together. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. And I know that we got, uh, I did our profile pictures because we were doing two days play already. And then Jamie yes. joined us. So I had to make a profile picture for Jamie. We'll and... make one for Ibby eventually. When we do that yeah. Sims challenge, she made. Oh my god. I was thinking about earlier today um, doing a uh, Sim Sunday scenarios. Because uh, they do like these daily scenarios oh. on mm -hmm. Sims. And I wanted to do those with, with EB. And. But the thing is, like, I don't know. We would either, we would definitely have to record in advance. But yeah, I would really want to do that. I'm going to have to start another channel. There's <laughs> too much shit going. <laughs> like, there's too many things I want to do. I would start another channel at this point because you already have your art channel that hasn't updated in forever. Yeah, that's. <sighs> well, the art room is slowly getting put back together. Yeah. Um, and uh, once it's in any case, we really derailed, and I still have yeah. this game open, and it's still recording. So, um, oops. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, creators. Beautiful game, all that good stuff. Not for us. Not for us. Not for us. Not for us. Thank you for joining us for Short Game Saturday as we play Permisa by Julian Palacios. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, a follow, and ring that notification bell so you know when a new episode drops. Also, stop on by our completely free Discord server to chat about games and whatever else is on your mind. I promise we don't bite. That hard. Please refrain from any hate toward us or the game developers. The devs worked really hard to make this game happen, and they deserve our support. Because anyone who just wants to hear their grandfather tell them stories deserves all the support. That's all for now, folks. And we'll see you next time.